still have the transition set to the fucking mat thing. We're good now though, right? Yeah, okay. First, that's right. You were first today. I uh, can't really say as always though, because you've been you've been dethroned a few times now. What do you mean today? I do mean today. I can't say every day anymore because it's no longer true. In the past, yeah, but recently, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh... <clears throat> of course, listen, far be it from me. Far be it from me to judge you, okay? I, li I literally... You know? I'm not concerned at all. I'm just saying, I, ca I just can't say it anymore. I just can't say as always, it's not correct. It would be, it would be a lie. Uh... Right, okay, this one's on scene. Okay, wait, shit, is Nightball working? Because earlier today, it wasn't. Okay, now we're good, cool. Must have been like a temporary... Well, yeah, I can I, I... I would if I could, Narms. I would if I could. I would if I could. I'm sorry. I have the reverb, but um, I, 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 I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, oh. Nobles underscore. You just did. That's powerful. Powerful. Uh, give me a second, cause I need to. I need to ping a, a person today about this. Um. Uh, okay. This should be fine. Uh, like, what's their Twitch name? Uh, TJ Axeno or something like that? You know? You've seen him around, I think. Um, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Very, very excited to try this out. Uh, I have very little idea of what I'm getting into, as usual. I don't remember them. I, d I don't think they come around very often, but this game is awesome. I think you'll love it. Nice, nice. I've heard um, many people like say that they really like it, but th that's the extent of my information on it. I straight up like don't know what it's what it's what it's like even. I opened it earlier and uh, told me that this game is better play with a with a game pad. Like, uh, I played it when I watch people play. Hey, if you're about to do it again. <laughs> oh shit. It seems to have some kind of a space element to it. Travel, space travel, you could say. out now what am I missing cool hi Zoltar how you doing wax very cool experiencing gaming vicariously through other people 
See, I can never do that. That's one of the reasons why it took me a bit to, like, really understand streaming. Because I get too antsy watching other people play. When I see people play a game that I like, I feel the urge to, like, play it again. Then if it's a game I don't know, I'll either gain the feeling, gain the craving to play the game, or I'll lose interest and leave, basically. How are you doing, Zoltor? How's everyone doing, actually? I don't think I've asked yet. Um... These seem like scary settings. I don't know. I don't know if my I don't know if my poor little poor little laptop will hold up. We'll see. Hey Neko, what's up? How you doing? I have little brothers. What? What does that mean? And I was yeah. That that's per like perfectly understandable. Like far be it from me to to judge anyone who does live vicariously. to watching others play. I think it's perfectly valid. I just... I'm too antsy to do it myself. Little brothers only get to watch Big Rogue. I... Oh! <laughs> that's cute! I don't know if you just made that up or if that's like really a thing, but... I like that. Think it. Glad to hear it. Pog. Um... So, we already have two Outer Wilds enjoyers here, so the pressure is up. Ah. I'm doing good, glad to hear it. A pog. Hmm. Okay, wait. I probably do need to just mess around with some stuff here hold on uh what the hell jesus changing this might affect certain po what okay all right it's uh it's interesting uh sorry i know that i do this like every fucking time i play a new game uh, also the sensitivity was like, okay, oh, okay, I get it. If you click this, it goes all the way back. Gotcha, that, uh, that makes sense. Uh, okay, cool. Hi, Tarm, what's up? So just make it dash better for us. I'm glad I I, I, I'm kind of scared now that it told me that also the, some of the screenshots that I saw seem to like, have a bit of an FOV thing going on, so I don't know. I don't know if I should bump this up all the way But here, let's try. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Jesus Christ <laughs> Wait <laughs> All right, okay, maybe not that much Okay It seems like it's not like super You know, is it, am I am I just am I just making shit up? It doesn't feel like it's at like sixty. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, is it okay? Hold on, I've never roasted a marshmallow. Are they supposed to be like fucking pitch black? Yeah, that, um... <laughs> that <laughs> Fish Shad Lens. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I bumped it down, like, a little bit, but it didn't... I feel like I need to <laughs> bring it back to, like, something more reasonable. Uh, oh, okay, put away. Gotcha. This is the entire game. This is revolutionary. I actually fucked that up, didn't I? Like... 
Oh, I see. Careful. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. See, now it doesn't look black anymore. It's like a little, a little, a little, a little gray. Now it's like rubber. We got it! Holy shit! Press E to eat! Uh... <laughs> That's- that, I think- I think that one's timeless. You can just keep doing that one. Also, hi Grim. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Wait, hold on. I need to perfect my- okay, alright, that's- Wait, that's literally littering. Oh, okay, it's gone. Never mind. We're fine. Hello, slate. Aw. I, I, I... Something about his eyes, other than the fact that there's four of them, you know? Like, there's something comforting about them. Pre-launch camp pod under the stars. It's like only yesterday you joined the space program. Suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. How do you say? Ready to get his beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the wretched? I look. I don't want to question. I don't want to question Slade here. I'm sure he did a wonderful job. Um. Sorry, can. <laughs> Shanzi, D colon, what's up? The burn oh, the bur okay, I'm sorry. I'll 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 jeopardize my um my uh my stomach and just eat them burnt next time. Look, where's the I can read the text, yeah. I could move the logo as well though. It probably it will probably become like a problem. Hold on. Um I have too many. I have too many fucking sources. Jesus Christ. Uh. Uh. Okay. Hopefully this will be enough. Wow, I'm so high up all of a sudden. Wait, that looks awkward now. I'm like... <laughs> I'm too high. Wait. I'll just... Okay, I'll just put myself at the bottom. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, well, that doesn't help at all. You know what? Fuck it. I'll... C we can undo now. That's right. I'll, I'll just read a text. I'm sorry. It's always awkward when you're too high. I've heard... I have never done a weed, so I wouldn't know, but... I'm too... Look, okay. <laughs> but fa Dude, I literally... Kinda, yeah. I don't want to say vertigo, but like that, it, 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 it didn't, it, it didn't seem right. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Ready if you are? Sure. <laughs> are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with the pilot instead of the auto flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? I don't like the implication there. Anyway, you'll just need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Cool. Um... Is that an observatory? Hold on. You probably look around. Observatories usually have like a, a little... A little scope, right? I've seen those in cartoons. Um... <laughs> Can you flip your can and put yourself on the low right side? Like, my only problem is that I would have to reset- Okay, I see it, I see it. I would have to reset things afterwards. You look so cute. Hey, it's you! 
Slits and you're blasting. <laughs> Did he now? <laughs> Slate Sl <laughs> sent your blasting off in your ship today. Really excited <laughs> to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go in into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh, are you, you and Slate beefed up the model ship? Yeah, but you recalibrated controls and installed better thrusters. Wanted to give it a test drive? Slice is just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. You know? That sounds good. That sounds good. I should do that. Try to land one on one of those geyser pools. Show me what you got. Okay. Ooh, okay. Wait, what the fuck? This place is actually like... There's more stuff here. Um... Hi, Shinny, also. Uh, okay, sorry. I see. Okay, well, shit, wait, hold on. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, okay, I get it. I get I mm. Okay, it's a good thing they gave me the the test the test uh thing, huh? When was I supposed to land this? Oh, okay. I I gotcha. Thank you. Oh, it's like they really know me. They they know what I'm thinking. Where am I supposed to land this? And like, the geyser literally starts up. I. Okay, that's. <clears throat> All hard teams use they them pronouns. Gotcha, gotcha. That's good to know. But uh, yeah, I saw like I, I saw the buttons like to, they do significantly different things than I was expecting them to do. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like every direction is like actual input. Look at chan I please do not look at me blast. It's not going very well. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait, okay, uh. Oh no! Sorry, uh. Yep, don't, don't, don't mind me. Is he okay? Sorry, are they okay? That, uh. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh? My depth perception is kind of not great. I almost had it just then. Hold on. I'll make this. The Shit. Okay, I pushed the wrong button. The more time I spend doing this stuff here, the less time I'll got it. Easy, I think. Right? <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks. That's that was actually really helpful. Um. Now, oh wait, I was supposed to put it into the geyser. Okay. I saw the platforms there, and I assume surely I'm not supposed to actually just drive the model ship into the hole. But. The more you know. We have to sacrifice it. To the geyser. I I get it now. It's like, for good luck. Oh. Oh. Easy. First try.
Hmm. That's... I don't, I, I don't know why that's kind of, like, unsettling, but... Oh, wait, I was supposed to say shit. Sorry. Hold on. I'll do it again. Uh, uh, fuck, okay. Uh, fuck, mother... Okay, okay. It's... Oh, I get it, because when the pool... Aha! Got it. Okay, I, I understand now. I get it. Oh shit, fuck. Thanks, JJ. Good reminder. Suspense is killing me. Fred <laughs> is burned successfully. God damn. Wait, were they really? Are you alright? What? The Wait, where am I going? Hold on. I'm not moving. I believe we're exploring the core of the of <laughs> we're exploring the core of the planet. Oh, okay, really? <laughs> okay, dude. No. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh my god, wait. No one saw that. Deep underground space travel. That's right. You have to be kidding me. This is fine, right? This counts. Oh my god, wait, how high am I going? see the ship anymore hey I uh, <clears throat> I am um, I lost the spaceship the toy spaceship in space hope that's okay I mean that's what they built it for right it used to be lost that ship. <laughs> okay cool that was fun good way to figure out how to how the flying works as well. It's like a core component, you see, I don't have the sticker. <laughs> I was actually, I figured the longer I spent messing around with the toy rocket, uh, the less likely I will be to crash and die horribly later on when I'm flying the real thing. Uh, used to we have so many problems. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just miss you and want to talk. Oh. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. I like that one. That's easy to remember. Look at the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. Huh? That big water planet. Giant steep. That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbard told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbard wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. Jesus Christ, that's such a rude dialogue option. Holy shit. 
tell me more. This is pausing dramatically, I understand. I understand perfectly. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. It held Gabriel back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabriel saw it. A tentacle of some hideous beast, what the fuck? <laughs> Smutty. Shinny, you have to just... I know it's difficult for you to see, like, mention of deep dark places and tentacles without thinking of that type of thing, but you have to relax. Go long way around? Long way- oh shit. You know what, that's a good point. It seemed like a pretty big place, and I'm just like... Tunnel vision into the observatory. That's what Gabro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring back some back with you. Oh. My priority is to bring myself back w without <clears throat> crashing. Oh. We'll see about that. Learn some mechanics from the people in town. Oh shit, okay. That, you know, I should have realized that considering that they literally gave me the toy rocket for me to test drive with. That's, you know, that should be a good indicator that you should probably be talking to people more. <laughs> Lovecraft never heard of him. <laughs> good. Not missing out. Uh, <laughs> cosmic smut. I mean, you know, to each their own. Okay. If it is my favorite troublemaker, is it the radio? I wanted to play. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we, please? We'll even let you be... it. Okay. Okay, here are the rules. Galen and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. This is a good time to wonder what the fuck a signal scope is. <laughs> That's when to be found wins. Thanks, Jasper. Good reminder. Um, I'm assuming Jasper's going to sleep. I didn't see that. Also, my oh, okay, gotcha. And this is pretty good music to fall asleep to. Smooth, relaxing guitar beats to blast off to sleep. <laughs> to. Oh, wait, I have four eyes too. That's cute. The way, like, it has, like, two different, like, thing. Okay, okay, okay. Change frequency one to four. Wait, is it only one and four, or is it one through four? Okay, gotcha. Frequency, hide and seek. Outer Wilds Ventures, gotcha, okay. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Pause, champ. It's higher up, though. Hmm. Have to go around. What was that? Oh. Where the fuck did they hide? Holy shit, wait. You're joking! How do I get there? Oh, I'm... I can jump. I forgot about that. That's right. Gotcha. 
Uh... Oh wait, I'm fine. Okay, I can go in the water and I'll be okay. So why do we have a controller confusing you? It's not a terrible idea. I, I do not, unfortunately. <laughs> I actually don't have a controller. They did see they did say the message at the beginning of the game about how it's better with the controller, but unfortunately, um, I can just sleep. Yet. I'm testing the Blender Man's game. Gotcha, gotcha. The Blender Man. <laughs> ah, yeah. I okay. Dude. Fuck. Hold on, I need to test this out. This whole jumping thing. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Hmm. This is too high to jump up though. Right? Yeah, I do need to go around for this one. Um Hey, <laughs> pink deer. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, gotcha. Suck. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, wait, I should just like drop around. Right? That's a smarter thing. <laughs> Found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Look, buddy. I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to be a harsh critic here, but I think if it, if it was daylight, I would have had a instant time finding you. White apricot crocodile. Interesting. Yo, we made it. Okay. Uh. Wait, can I move? I'll... I... Okay, wait, uh, okay, I'm actually not sure if I can. I can, alright. I don't know why, but like, the fact that you had to like, wind your jump made me assume that I wouldn't be able to still move while doing it for some reason. I actually have no idea why. Hey! Aww! Little voice! I want. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Holy shit. Okay. All right. It's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about a time you built a new, less <laughs> flammable one? Sounds like, um, sounds like a bit of an oversight to have a flammable platform to launch rockets from. A big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> the launch pad is flammable. <laughs> You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the watches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Very reassuring. Oh. <laughs> like I'm gonna lose it every time they say blast. <laughs> You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? <laughs> I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. No problem. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Thanks. I should probably have asked 
with the rash rockets were, huh? Uh, gotta work. Choose the bottom one for spell before I start working. Good luck, Narms. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. Um, let's see. Have I spoken to you? Is that soup? <laughs> hatchling. Hey, yo, hatchling. Hey, you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Only well, seeing adventure among one star, actually. Other stars are far too far away. That's the ca camera shit. You're paying. I am clearly paying a remarkable little amount of attention to the my surroundings here, huh? <laughs> uh. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. I'm so sorry. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, camera. Camera. Oh. What the hell? Is it this thing? Oh. It's a projector. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh. Oh, it's. Oh, that's so cool. Wait. Guys are doing stop motion. Let's go! That's it, right? Yeah. I think I got it. Nice! That's cute. Ever liquid is super for not pinching. <laughs> I do believe I am. Tell if I'm being nagging or something. Oh no, it's 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 fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. If it ever gets too much, I I can say so, but I I, I can tell that this is a game where like I need to be paying more attention, and a lot of the times I don't. Um, I think we covered everything though. Or at least I'm not seeing anyone I missed. We have the soup, we have the camera, we have the, the radio thing, we have Daddy Lumberjack. Wait, did I speak to you? I actually don't remember. You were leaving for the crater leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. That's the game you need to Yeah, I I struggle with that a lot. Especially on, on stream, my brain gets all like <clears throat> That makes sense, yeah. Uh, tell me about the Traveler's instruments. I mean, all their instruments, you know? Let me see. Shirts, drums, Rebex, banjo, and Gabro's flute. Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they, they, they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Your music in space, that'll be one of the space programs of the Travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay, that's useful. Do... Do I not have an instrument? It's a, it's a little disappointing. It'll probably be the best. Because if I did, I'm sure it would be like a rhythm game or something to play the damn thing and... That wouldn't go very well. A mountain really just be blasting? Which one? Oh, when we were taking the postcards, gotcha. True. I'm going the fucking wrong way. Oh, wait, no, never mind, I can circle. Oh! Oh, okay, wait a minute. 
What is this now? Oh, wait, the colors. Interesting. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. <sighs> Reading is important, guys. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Ha! Huh. Don't complain to me if you heard yourself fooling around. So, in theory, it's possible for someone to just like lift off and proceed into space without seeing any of this information. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes it. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna make fun of their stutter. Super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. <laughs> ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Uh, you know, ghost matter is how Telek Tech Tech Tide lost their foot. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad, it feels like your whole hand's on fire. That's awesome. I love pain. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. I got my gadgets. <laughs> Ghost come. No. No. Oh, hello, ast a astronaut. This is a good weather for your lunch, right? That's, I mean, it seems like like 15 days have passed since I started the game, considering how short they are. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. You can do that? It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I can pick up on pick up the traveler's music. Oh, okay, okay. Last night I heard Ryback's banjo come f coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of the day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. They really seem like it. I hear that banjo. Oh, that's so cute. Is that... Someone's just whistling. They don't have an instrument. Or... Oh. Wait, that's really close. That's in this planet. Wait. Isn't this a harmonica? Wasn't the person that they said was missing the one with the harmonica? O astronaut. <laughs> it's an Australian astronaut. 
still sending astronauts out to when they understand Australia. A difficult undertaking. Oh, I love the different sine waves. The well, the yeah, the sound waves actually, not sine waves. That's so cool. What the fuck? Um, is this a harmonica? Wait, what do you mean? The whistling? No, that was definitely whistling. The mouth instrument, like Neko said. At this that's sus then hold on they said the person was missing but they're in the planet how far is that feels like could be walking a little bit hmm If you die in Outer Wilds, do you die in real life? Oh. Well, you can drown. That's... <laughs> huh. Well, it, it, it was... it was a type of well, to be sure. <laughs> you died. We did it. We did it, guys. We completed our wild. <laughs> oh no. Unlucky. There was stuff down there, though. I saw that. Would I have drowned if I had, like, moved? 100% speedrun. Easy. New expedition. Oh, does it bring you like to the very beginning? It does. But I already spoke to everyone, so I know what's up. Do I still have to talk to the to the people? Probably not, right? I don't think anything that they said was like actually John <laughs> the well speed for ninety percent. <laughs> you need to talk to them? Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Man, I'm gonna be like really fucking curious about this shit now though. What the hell? What the hell? It's right here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, of course, of course. I know I was missing some up there. I was just wondering if I... Is it... Because they only do, like, explain how to use the things you already have. They don't actually, like, give them to you or anything. Oh, man. Fuck. Maybe they're on the other side of the planet, right? Because this is pointing downwards. Right? And these planets seem like kind of small, so maybe they're on the other side. The anyway, technically, but it's nice to... True? True. Zero G cave. Come say hi to your old flight coach before your lunch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. I I would love a refresher. Thought I might see you before the big launch. Nervous getting the better of you. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I <clears throat> I have drowned. <laughs> Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crane. <laughs> Boldly going. Still, I was never as green as you. 
thanks. I've gotten better. Thanks, sir. Do you feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice and down the lift and into the cave or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Excellent. Sage advice, my friend. Is he petting that helmet? They're petting the helmet because... The polish. It's not gonna polish itself. You know? Also, hi Kaz, what's up? How you doing? Hmm. Oh, the drum, right. Very interesting. So wait, you said, okay, all right. That's uh. Yep, that's 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 pretty that's pretty zero G. I will say. Try not to concuss yourself in general. Yeah, that's a uh, excellent life advice. Personally. Suit up. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh, wait. That's kind of cool, actually. This is not zero G yet. <laughs> There's still some G. Hello, tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Getting some zero G time in. You're going in there? In the cave? Uh, what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that case. I don't know why you're making me talk about it. In my defense? No, I didn't know that. I'm very sorry. <sighs> now I got hand sweats. I mean... Kind of understandable. Do I still have this? I do. We're getting closer and closer. To the... to the... to the harmonica... Person. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Give me the dirt. <laughs> Good night, Jasper. Sleep well. Um. Fuck, where did I come from? Oh no, I came from here, right? Yes. Zero G cave, okay. That shake. Scared me a little bit. How, how, how G? Okay, wait, no, we're fine, actually. I don't know, what the, I don't know what the fuck I was getting with that sentence. How many G's until my legs break when I fall? <laughs> what the fuck, wait. Oh, I see, the meter, it says down there. Gravity, point one. 0 0.1 <laughs> Like your cut, G I like your hi, G mm. It's important, guys Remember that clip? Oh my god Oh my god, wait a minute Press lock on Hold it to match velocity Okay. Ooh. Bonk. Oh god, wait. Oh god, wait. How do I... Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Slowly. Um. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Interesting. A flashlight is, um... Fuck, they told me it earlier. I already forgot. Was it F? It was. F for flashlight. Press F to... Pay. Light. Spe spec. Mm, no, that doesn't work. No. Okay. Fuck. Let's go! Okay. I'm assuming it's... here as well. Oh god. The fact that fuel is limited really, really, uh, really, really grinds my, my, my G's, you know? Oh, fuck. It doesn't seem like it's here. Maybe it's somewhere along the structure? Hmm. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I keep pressing space thinking it's the, um, thinking it's the, um, uh, the, the thruster. And velocity matched. There we go. Easy. First try. Let's go. Okay, now back to the important business. Fuck, we've gotten further away from them now. God damn it. Um Remember you got six Up down for back, left, right, and also rotation. Okay, okay. That makes sense. So is this a good time to ask if the whole concussions thing was just a joke or if I'm actually gonna get one? Wait, I made it out, I think. I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> oh god. Degrees of freedom. I'm so used to that acronym being depth of field, I was like... Huh? <laughs> right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, 5G, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah! and fuel remaining. All right, all right. I'm making it out. Fine. Okay. I gotta take off the suit, right? There we go. Cool. Okay. I'm assuming we'll have, like, one of those in our ship. Maybe. That was nice. I like that. Good training, yeah. It's a it's a fun fun little tutorial area. Mm, okay. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but remember you're training and try not to hit anything big. Zero itching to get off the truck, so get the launch codes from the observatory. Get out of here already. Best of luck out there. Hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much <laughs> time to training. You got it. No problem. 
All your training is what will keep me safe. Your knowledge will be my shield. No concussion in the world will penetrate my thick knowledge hardened skull. That sounds so weird. There's one more tower to check out. Is it on the... Okay, wait. I see. Is this part of the observatory? Seems like it. So I must have missed something. If you go back a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Why? <laughs> kind of sus. <laughs> kind of sus. <gasps> no. God damn it. Wait, let me see if this actually leads somewhere. Oh, I don't think it does. Yeah. Unsus. This, this, the susify. Yeah. I think this is the only structure I had left, right? Falling from tall heights will also kill you. Fuck. God damn it. I guess that saves me the typical. Hey, is there fall damage in this game? Question. <sighs> Just like IRL, let's go. Realism. Mm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> let's, let's not jump into the thing that they said makes you die a horrible, painful death. That sounds like a good idea can I climb this hmm. oh holy shit oh my god wait I'm <sighs> see it <laughs> ah. incredible groundbreaking levels of attention Oh my god. Saw so smoke coming out, coming from the young bark crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. The scout launcher. The my ruins. Okay. What the fuck? Young bar crater. Geyser Mountains. Quantum Grove Crater. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can only go to the sides, got it. Mm. Oh my god. Wait, that's so funny. Oh, that's useful. Yeah, small planet. The planets seem really small. Both this one and the ones we've seen from from outside. Wait, can I shoot over this? Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the way you see the collision in stop motion just really, really gets to me. Scott and why are we launching them? Have they sinned? Why would that be... What? Why is that a punishment? 
It's fun to be launched. Wouldn't you want to be? Oh, 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 yo, look at that. They were all lined up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a funky looking marble there. Hello! A wolf? How are you doing today? Welcome. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm staring to the sun. Bad for your... My, I... You know what? That makes a lot of sense. I hadn't thought about that. Four eyes means it's... Twice as bad to look into the sun. I know math. Outer Wilds Venture. Timbers... Timber... Er, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intern intention <laughs> wait intentionally launched at this. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a bit of a background there that I would love to, to hear about. They completed the first orbiter on Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atla Rock. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go quick in the pass out that you've been in peril with this weather. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yes, have a good meal. The geysers are dangerous. That is an excellent point. I didn't think about that. But if it launched the toy rocket... And the planet is so small, of course. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Gotcha. My... Memory for names is going to be very troublesome. Big thanks to the, these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would have never gotten off the ground safely. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington? <laughs> Hold on. These sound like Patreon rewards <laughs> or Kickstarter backers. <laughs> That's that's cute. I like that. I like that. Nothing is dangerous in this game. Yeah, I'm sure. Hold on. What did you see? A familiar name there. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Domai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Kaz, they're your people. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where their species came from, or what happened to them. <laughs> Literally. Actually, your people. Let's go. Okay, dude, relax. Relax. Oh, what the hell? This piece of no, my writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, no, my text often branches off from a central point. Interesting, each branch tends to be written by a different author. What? What is it? Oh, okay. We're 
finally ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the analog's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. But all this time, I'm thrilled to finally re resume our search. Wait, I'm having some trouble, like, figuring out what's the, uh... How does this work? Oh, okay, it's just these two things. What's up with- what's up with all the... Um, what's up with all the-, the these, uh, f the, f the funny- the funny blue lines from the machine going around? Is that just, like, aesthetic? Or did they- did they indicate something that I am not quite getting? Oh, okay, the lines are- okay, they're showing what they were scanning, gotcha. Um... Oh, true, I didn't talk to this person. Hey, Hal. Was good. It's my favorite astronaut. Launch there at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. Oh, oh, I... Huh, funny. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've seen that before. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Lamai text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. <sighs> just ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've been... You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Namai statue? It's new? You haven't heard? Gabriel brought it back with him from Giant Steep, and Hornfels just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish you could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Come on now. Come on now. You're really gonna say that, buddy? You really gonna say that? <laughs> Fucking guy with four eyes is gonna be here and be like, "Hey, the furries are kind of weird, you know? That I don't, I mean, that that just doesn't that just doesn't doesn't hit right for me." <laughs> this is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. You too. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Will do. I'll try to not die in a well before I even get off planet. Watch closely these balls. <laughs> I'm five years old. Um, I guess it's be the ground is perfectly level. So, what do you think causes this spooky no motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the analog's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling you on you right now. <laughs> huh? That is great. Awesome. Uh. Go to each thing and look at it before heading upstairs. That is a good pro tip. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wolf, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's not backseating. It's not backseating. It's fine. I legitimately have a lot of trouble actually realizing that there's things around me. So it's legitimately helpful to have people telling me when there's like really obvious things that I will incredibly still manage to miss like a big tower where you propel a fucking drone across the planet uh cool oh okay this is good this is like our solar system right i'm assuming stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium 
As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Okay, no, is this just the one? The stars... As the star score contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Then it explodes! If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode into a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Great. Awesome. I'm just being nosy, it's fine, no worries. You, you, you guys are all doing are, are all doing fine. Welcome back, Salter. You just learned that stars explode. What was that? Oh. Wait. Should probably read what this thing is, huh? This strange rock moving around in the grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Me too! The level-headed among- <sighs> I realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabra claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. <laughs> Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Oh, that's really funny. Oh, what the fuck? Huh, I bet this is why the, 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 um, it's probably for reasons like this that they said the thing about the FOV altering some of the puzzles in the game when you move it too high. Oh, that's really cool. Hi, Golf! How are you doing today? Oh man, I don't know why I'm so amused by this. I imagine this is- yeah, exactly! That's what I was thinking. Because if they have this type of mechanic in the game, it makes sense that the FOV would alter some stuff later on. Good, glad to hear it. I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm spending a tremendous amount of time in this tutorial, but it's very worth because it's actually an interesting tutorial. <laughs> this crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Riddle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh, <gasps> what the fuck? Yo! Oh man, that is actually really cool. What the hell? Let's fucking go! The Prince of Persia rock. God damn. It's not just a tutorial, you know, it lays, lays out the ground for all the parts in the game. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I'm like, okay with it. Typically, like, I feel like typically I I would get like bored. But the way that it's laid out and actually explains things that are clearly going to be very important later. Um, yeah. Where was I going with that? It's fine. My favorite game of all time. I like to see people taking their time with it and taking everything in. That seems very reasonable. I think that's a problem I get a lot uh, when I see other people play stuff that I enjoy as well and they like miss stuff that can be really annoying I understand I did miss the fish I'll go I'll go to it that my technology brought back from the space by our astronauts has been a great boom to the outer wilds ventures allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways for example 
A little scout and a Bosa warp? Oh! So the teleport thing is actually, like, a thing that's happening. I thought it was just the game being, you know, a game. Has it dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space? Yeah, I can... I can imagine that being a problem without the uh, whole warp thing. Is that it? Is this little chunk the thing that lets it warp? Interesting. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Yeah, he looks friendly. Sorry, I remember about spoilers in my ex. You could potentially miss a ton with the wrong hands. I get that perfectly. It can, it, it can be rough. It, can, it sounds weird to say, but it can be rough to watch someone else play a game. <laughs> Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Namai also made art. Wow! This decorated pottery we discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Namai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Namai originated elsewhere in the universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. A very good question. Were the Namai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And even if they were, how and why did they come here? They are, these are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological expeditions. That is a funny word. We see here are parts of the Namai skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three... <laughs> quite unusually only three eyes. The Namai body was likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The difference... The differences in the Namai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Herthians couldn't have descended from the Namai Namayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Namai originated from or where or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Hmm. Hmm. Anthers? Yeah, yeah, we we established that earlier. Look. Because they do have antlers and fur. So, they're quite literally Kaz's people. And this fucking guy here throwing shade at them for having fur. No manners whatsoever. What is that? Can I... Okay, that's a bit... Huh. Okay. Upstairs have been... Wait, were they locked before? That's helpful. Huh? What the hell? No, they- oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you must consume lore before proceeding. Ooh, cute. Wait, there's something orbiting the sun? What the fuck is that? The Hourglass Twins. 
Brittle Hollow. Oh, hello. Who are you? Huh. <laughs> you are here. Everything is... Well, yeah. <laughs> I know, but like... <laughs> the, the thing, like, directly orbiting the sun. This thing. It looks like... You know, it, it doesn't look like... It, it looks like a structure. Of some kind. Interesting. And the fact that it's not labeled makes me go, hmm. Okay, wait, so... You are here, there it is. That's the moon, okay. Huh. What the fuck? Wait, why do they have a private sun? That's a scam. Hello? What? Holy shit, it's like it tore... It got torn. You know? Like roots? Like poof. Expanded and like tore the planet apart. It looks like they froze the frame on an explosion thing It's a planet fuck's sake <laughs> planet that broke. Yeah, literally the Fucking Planet machine broke. All right, so the two most intriguing things obviously the ones that are not labeled the funny the funny Sun Funny sun thing chips, I guess. And this guy all the way in the back. Who are you, buddy? It's got like a weird field around it. You see that? It actually might be getting a little scuffed because of the the bit rate, but you know how like the it, oh. Oh, thank you for the follow wolf. Much appreciated. Um, very obs I have my moments. I feel like there's a little middle ground. I either miss everything completely or I spend like three hours looking at one pixel. <laughs> Wide hole looking dude, yeah. Strange. Wait, am I imagining that or is that like... I'm not imagining it, there's a line. Or is it just... Part of the whole grid thing. I don't think so though. Yeah, no, this is definitely like a different line Because all these other grid lines are like solid, but then they have this dashed one connecting the this whatever this is To the Sun it looks like maybe Yeah Is that is there anything else of one of those? No Huh oh. <laughs> 50 hour play the axis line. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, if there were like more It just seemed weird because it, it's like dotted and goes directly through that thing. Oh wait, hold on directly through That would mean that Here maybe it would be another one uh... Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Looks like it might be the only one. That is extremely sus. That is skyrocket high levels of sus. I don't trust that. What the fuck? Huh. 
interesting. Inter inter the inter the inter dasting. Christ. Oh, oops. I changed my uh, my DPI switch while I was there. Hello, Hornfells. There you are. I just finished some pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a My Translator tool. I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. I'm sorry that I've turned that one day into... 12. <laughs> We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Namai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Thanks. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Good question. I'm gonna learn more about the Namai. I'll meet up with other travelers. I wanna go somewhere no one's gone before. I'll start with something small. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> um. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Hmm. What is my plan? I mean... I feel like it's a good idea to go for the Nomai, right? Since we have, like, the translator thingy. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a tra- Exactly, yeah. <laughs> No sense to make a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. I have a plan. <laughs> Apparently, we barely scratched the surface of the Namai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they originated here or traveled here or why they disappeared. A tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. <laughs> I'm ready to die in space, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, huh? Hmm. Wasn't worried about that until you just told me. Uh, I feel like wearing glasses would be hard because your ears slope downward. But then again... Maybe that's why there's four eyes, right? So you have like a bit more range, you know? You adjust the glasses to be like up here, but then if they fall, it's fine because you have your lower pair of eyes right underneath. <laughs> why the fuck would you wear glasses only on one pair of the eyes? Also, hi! Why? Whimser. Whimser? Why miser? Why miser? Why miser? It'd be funny if we just called you why instead. But hello. Um. Why miser? Holy shit, wait, I got it. Pog. Why is fine? Nice. Hello, why? Welcome. Uh, there's some small little writing on the wall, on paper, not literally on the wall, up here in the observatory. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, it, like, what if, you know? That doesn't, no, no, mm, no, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Uh... <laughs> Can't imagine how it must be with a whole uh, four. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Launch codes. Is that loss? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? If they actually just put the fucking lost thing. Uh, so I these were goggles instead of glasses, true. That would be amazing. It would be, what like, ah, if it was like randomly generated every time and someone actually got it to generate the loss pattern, that would be great. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in his image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. 
and this image covers just the tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I, I think I need to sit down. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty pretty big revelation for sure. Hmm, this is odd. According to my red <laughs> redshift calculations, isn't that a 3D engine. <laughs> Every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. What the fuck? But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? It's a physics thing? Red shifting and blue shifting? It's Einstein, baby. Oh, maybe that's why they call the engine red shift. It must be like a reference to the actual science, science thing. I didn't know that. I don't know things. Um... But why, though? Huh. Redshifting essentially means that it's getting further away. Things get redder the faster they move away from you, bluer if they're coming up to you. It's called Doppler effect. I hear if you go through a red light fast enough, the color shifts to green. Huh. Spitting facts. Interesting. Redder the faster they move away. Bluer if they're coming up to you. Interesting. Too bad Jasper isn't here anymore. They would know a lot more about this type of thing than I do. Uh, because light is a wavelength, so when you approach a wave, the wave looks shorter, and that's bluer. Right. Huh. Ah, my brain. Wait. That's... That's a lot going in at once. <clears throat> oh. Y'all left out some information in this uh, exhibit thing. What the fuck? Wait, and hold on, these are w these weren't actually jewelry before, right? This was like completely a sculpture, but now some parts of it are. Or were it, and I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Well, this is an educational game. Yay! <laughs> Think you've moved with like 20% of the speed of light to sh shift red to blue, though? Anything at that speed is a little wonky. I see. We have made the same observation about our own universe and included these characters are making the in gamers our own. Wait, hold on. Oh! Right, true, yeah. 
I remember hearing someone maybe say that. That the universe is expanding. So this is the same principle except everything is much smaller. Hmm. Creating the new museum, let's go. Mine already has like fucking enhanced reality. Fucking projection into your retinas. We're already outperforming whatever they have set up here. Okay, no, but that was actually kind of trippy. Do I have the, um... Does this just auto-equip? Whenever you're near something you can read? Because now I'm thinking, like, what if I had m the... The translator held up when all that text flashed in front of me? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I'm glad I can talk to someone about it. Statue looked at me and opened its eyes. That you doing what? Yeah, man. So his eyes open, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lines flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense. <laughs> but are you sure you were kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a good point. Uh... You know what? Don't worry about it. You should sit down for a bit. Take it easy. I hate for anything bad to happen to you. Try to lunch while well, you're not feeling great. Uh, but hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. <laughs> I can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. <laughs> for real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Rebeck. They'd fall on it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip. To just get your space legs under you, you can check out the ruins on the outer lock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Thank you. Uh, okay, there's steps here, so I'm assuming this goes somewhere. Um, outer lock sounds nice. I was thinking like my my first step would probably be either the the moon. Or the other side of the planet, so I can maybe figure out what the fuck is the harmonica person doing. Am I supposed to you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's pretty disturbing. I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said, too, but they never did. Hornfels will be really sad if you don't come back. Like, how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too, don't worry, if I die I'll just respawn. And that nothing will have happened. That's reassuring. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Let's murder the statue now so you have to later- yes. The final boss of Outer Wilds is that statue. Do I need to talk to you again? Hold on. Like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. I'm working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing? What does that mean? The autopilot's avoidance system. Why would it be bad to tell me about that? Because I would want to have that now instead? Not sure. I can bring it out too, but it auto equips. Is there a key for it? Hold on. I should probably check that. Uh. Translate. Oh, wait. Huh? Flashlight. Signal scope. Huh. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm. A, I. I guess it will just auto equip. He's fine. Wow. Well. Oh. 
hold on. We're flying in this? On God? <laughs> Yo, I think I've seen one of these things in my mom's house. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there's plants. That's so cute. Oxygen refill. <laughs> we're missing a we're missing a live laugh love like poster around here somewhere. <laughs> he plans for oxygen, yeah of course. Casually approaches the tree. All right, we've refueled. Ready to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Wait, isn't this the thing? That made you walk on the wall? I think so, right? That's what it was in the museum. Ship log. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the thing, right? That must be the thing. The the the, the thing that we saw on the 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 farthest uh, ring, the farthest like orbit, the interloper. Entries. The one and only Herthian village, as well as the main source of explosives. <laughs> okay. The Namai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. A cave at the very center of the timber earth. I'm, I'm gonna keep mispronouncing that and I'm sorry, but it's just very awkward for me to <laughs> read it right. Hearth. Used by the Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gossen. Very cool. Oh, is this like a marker, maybe? Find in rumor mode. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere in the Adalok. No one knows what they are or why they were built. Then in my text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device in the atom lock. Huh. That is really cool. Instead of giving like a concrete map. Because I'm assuming it can- wait, can you see that? Hold on. Like it- oops. I, I have to disable that. Oh, okay, okay. So it's you don't get different information in the two modes. It's, they're literally just different ways to navigate. Gotcha. Interesting though. That definitely makes me wanna. Hmm. Shit. How? F ah, it's kind of far. Cause I um ah uh, okay wait I will okay I need to I need to I'm sorry I gotta go back and remember what the fuck the 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 writing said because I remember I was like translating but I was so focused on figuring out how the fuck the translator worked I actually wasn't paying a lot of attention to what it actually said it's fine it's fine it's fine it'll be quick just a quick little jog. Can I go back the same way? Or is this gonna keep me from... Motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, wait, you're so smart. You're right. I can use my suit. Let's fucking go.
wait, hold on. How do I ref how do I refill the fuel? Does it restore if I just put it back? I feel like it wouldn't. Somehow. I think the rumor tells you what it says though, right? It didn't like say exactly. They just mentioned like calibrating. But I wanna make sure. You can refill on ship? Okay, gotcha. Uh Oh my god, this is so much fun. <clears throat> Crunch. <laughs> we'll be fine. It's okay. It's just a flesh wound. Okay, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have been finished the construction. And she says calibration calibration device won't take long. Fortunately, the analog's lack of atmosphere will make calibrating simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our, our search. Okay, so they were looking for something as well. Fall damage confirmed. High G. <laughs> that was a, a very high G. Oh god. Oh, that was fine actually. Cool. Um, put the suit back. Excellent tip. Buckle up. Lift off landing camera. What is this? Oh, is it, is it aiming at the floor? I see. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, wait. Oh. Yo! Wait, no, 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 That's tiny! Can I even land there? That shit's a fucking marble! Uh. I'm- okay, hold on. I, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I was trying not to orbit too far away from the planet. Because I still wanted to, like, at least have a better look at the, um... At the, uh... What am I saying? What am I saying? At the other side. Watch out for the sun! <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, God! Bit fast. Bit fast. Mm hmm. Looks great. Excellent. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait. <I'm laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. You're going to. Yeah, I, I, I really was. I, I, I really was. It's like, just by orbiting around, you get dangerously close to it. <laughs> Dude, he was looking us flying straight into it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um... Not great. Not, not great. Wait, how do I get out of here? No. Uh... God, I accidentally launched the fucking... Scout. Oh no, there's a, a, a crack in the glass. That's not good. Now don't forget your son. <laughs> Oof. Um, bonk. My guy you need to play. <laughs> Wait, do I need to use the med kit? I'm fine, right? 
was, that was, I mean, my legs kind of crunched earlier, but it was fine. Good evening. Hello, TTB. Yes, use medkit always. Okay, okay. Wait. For refill and health. Gotcha. Okay, so it does the two. Understood. Um, little scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. Good. Good thing we have that to do it for me. Instead of, um... Have me be the guinea pig. You can fly off the planet with a suit. That is actually terrifying. I don't like that. Um... Okay, so I need to fix this fucking... Oh my god. How does this thing fly, dude? Holy shit. Nice cockpit, though. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait, do I still have the binding for that? Hold on. Nice car. <laughs> um. Okay. This new pig rockets is very light. You know what? That is an excellent point. It does seem like it. Also, hello. Alacritus. Welcome. How are you doing today? Oh god. Wait. I don't know what I just did there. I was like sliding around or something. Hmm. Oh! Okay. I feel like I should probably have, like, brought the ship here instead of living out on the other fucking end of the moon. Because now I have to worry about having enough oxygen to get back to it. Should probably do that, I think. I think I will. I think, I think... I think I will. Uh... Oh, there we go. Shift. Ugh. Okay. And it's not a GPS of the planet on the left side of your screen if you want to find your way back to the ship. Oh. Oh, that's like the entire... the entire thing. And that red light? Uh, wait, no, not that red light. That's the poles. That's the poles of the of the planet, uh, probably, right? There we go. That's the ship. And also, it literally says on my fucking screen, ship. Um. Oh my god, you can see it so close. What the fuck? I can already, like, start to understand the appeal of the game. Uh, refuel jetpack. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, put the <laughs> My extra oxygen supply. <laughs> So I don't want to like lift off too much. That's not the right thing. Motherfucker. Ay ay ay. Hello? Is that a camp? Okay, that looks interesting, right? Wait, who broke the moon? Okay. Huh? Uh, you can just keep your suit on. That, that is a good thing to know. I would. Oh wait, hello. What is that? Uh, go 
go back. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Rob's a moon. You get a thrust up down more, then you can look at what you're traveling to and adjust up and down, right, left, right to stop. Thrust up and down more. Right. Right. Okay. Wait, I'm going so fast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh! Oh, wait. The fucking arrows mean something. Ah! I see. Okay. 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 Those white arrows around the thing are like... Telling me how far off course I am. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll get the hang of it. Yeah, the arrows did not be there. Right, right. So you have to like go in the where they're aiming to remove them. Understood. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can move downwards. I can I can feel my my legs like start to tense up from the different fucking directions. It was like I'm fucking playing Lucio. Uh, oh. oh, wait, no, uh, dip, dip. <laughs> We're good. Um, nothing will slow you down in space except yourself. Unplanned litho breaking. <laughs> That is a, a very novel way to put it. You gotta thrust forward for half the way there, then thrust backwards for the latter half, gotcha. Because otherwise, it's like what happened the first time around, where I fucking smashed my cockpit glass into the fucking surface of the moon. Suit, yes. This one, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forget this, for sure, a hundred percent. I know I'll never forget to put on the suit. That's not true. I probably would at some point, but I'm feeling confident, you know? The hell are these? Oh? Oh! Play recording. Church research notes. Property of Church. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice in the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Adalok was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Why is there flashing behind me? I don't like that. I don't like that. Hold on, can we... Can we not... I hear noises. Supernova thing, huh? Welcome to New Game Plus. I've died twice already. 
Although, I mean, I guess, I guess this was a mechanical death. Because clearly it was supposed to happen. Whereas the other one, I just fell down a well and died. I forgot to eat enough marshmallows. <laughs> ah, I see. The roasting of the marshmallows is a ritual to keep the sun appeased. If you don't do it frequently enough, it turns into the supernova. Gotcha. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. This makes me think that there's like a way you can bring marshmallows and roast them on the sun. That would be interesting. Campfires are magical. Dude, it's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> this truly is the Dark Souls of space exploration. Ha. Huh. Okay. All right. Wait. Did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being the sea. <laughs> and it's tradition to sleep hot under stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it just makes you all a, b a bit jumpy. Huh. I see. Already got them from the observatory. That's right. <laughs> Must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. <laughs> Stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. <sighs> Interesting. You motherfucker! You! Okay, wait, I'm actually not supposed to stare at it, right? Okay. I see. I see. Just to check, alright? Just to check. Just to check, right? Just to check. Did the statue change? Right? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Huh. Oh, I can stare at it? I, I, I actually, I, I legitimately believed you when you said it like that. It's bad for your eyes. I was like, that makes sense. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's like I never moved at all. That's not true, though. Or, I mean, moved, yes, but... I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that the eyes and the, the, the jewelry wasn't uh, metallic the first time around. So I think that much changed. Even if the position reset now. Buckle up. Uh, okay. Hey, what the fuck is roll? Oh! Ah! That is good to know! Aha! Uh -huh. Roll, of course. Of course. Was that always there? Was I literally just not paying attention and it literally told me that I could roll? Fucking hell. It's right? Degrees of freedom. Right. Right you are. Oh god, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast.
What does the autopilot do? God. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, that's... Soft bonk. I think we're fine, right? Yes, we're good. Is that, oh my god, why am I wobbling? <laughs> Hello. That doesn't seem good. It's fine, right? I'm sure it's fine. Shit wobbling happens all the time. It paused automatically. Lock on and try it sometime. Gotcha, gotcha. Much better flying this thing. Practice makes perfect. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. No wonder it was wobbling. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's okay. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> oh, if Shinny was around to see that one. Okay. Now, where was I? <laughs> the crater comes in samples, third on the outskirts is Dark Bramble. I posit that the analog was hit with a piece of the planet that it used to be where the Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies on the solar system. These crystals came from... A, di a planet that the Dark Bramble is in now. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh. Jesus. I'm not sure if it's more worth to go by foot to the other points of interest or if I should use the ship to go to them but I guess we'll find out okay <laughs> a little wobbling and normal in space of course of course. Oh, hello. What are these? Is this like a landing pad? Oop. Signal scope. Oh, okay. It's not picking up a Rybex banjo, Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I can hear their music. A fifty-one. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not so from an aerial perspective. <laughs> uh, can you easily get into Orbu with just your jackpot on the moon? It it just seems like clunkier to have to like lift off and get back on and get back off, you know? Uh and your music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. Not oh, I was worried. Did I thought I heard something strange? I don't know. It's probably nothing. It's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar Harmonica. Thank you. Someone else hears it. Can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Nice. Ah, oh, man. See, this is an important this is an important lesson, right? We're out here being all, "Oh shit, space travel. Let's explore the stars." There's a motherfucker with a harmonica hiding in our planet. And we should probably look into that first.
Oh, wait, you weren't joking. The fucking tree is literally... I... I thought that was just a joke. I, li I really did. Why are there trees growing on the moon? <laughs> Go say hello. Yes, of course. I'm just... Looking around. So you were the one who was whistling. Okay, I definitely want to go see the um, pa -pa 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 -pa, the the harmonica stuff before we go into another planet. Hey, man! Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, welcome back, Grim. Uh, for the game, however you work, of course, of course. I'm controlled didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, don't other travelers come by? Lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, <laughs> wait, less sophisticated. I dread to think how they used to fly before, considering the state at which we're flying now. Holy shit. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, Churd comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. And you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. <laughs> Don't go! <laughs> I mean, anyone else? Anything else you want to ask? <laughs> Top 10 questions science can answer. Number 4. Yo, why are there fucking trees growing on the moon? Ah, oh, god. I had a dream about Overwatch 2. That's scary. That's, that's scary. But you know, it's understandable. We play a lot of it after all. I don't remember if I've ever had Overwatch dreams before, but I wouldn't be too surprised. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfell, and Gossen mostly. They radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scan. <laughs> <laughs> no, the little, the little text. They forget about you. I don't blame him. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let, an let alone in our village. Uh, what? Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for that is the North Pole. Gotcha. Great, re great reception. The North Pole is marked red on your mini map, but the Adderlock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. True. Uh, what is this place? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Ah. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Round Post, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first launched, when we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space ferry technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. <laughs> Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber earth and keeping an eye on things. Uh, cool. Interesting. That does seem pretty lonely, though. Oh, Pog. Refuel. Let's go. See, see, he has, the, they have the marshmallows too, right? To appease the sun. Perfect sense. Um, okay. So my two, uh, what's the word? My two orders of bit, the two things I want to do right now are, um, 
finding the thing from the the furries that's on the moon and then i want to find the harmonica person back home um the game seemed lovely though they worked in the us are amazing honestly like they already seem like it from the footage that they've shown us but yeah it is pretty unfortunate this looks um Can I do anything with this? Um, hi mom! We're here in space, yes. We're on the moon. And yes, there are furries. Or there were at some point. We're trying to figure out what happened to them. Amongst basically anything else we can think of. Bold scientific ventures. With uh, no one really telling us what, okay, wait a minute. It's getting... It's getting redder already. I see. Wait, what the fuck did I... Oh. Okay. No, I don't... I, I don't want this. Um... Did you say hi, mom? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh... Furries on the moon. <laughs> Title of my memoir. Honestly, that would sell. Mm. Oh, okay, that's the global map. So I guess I'm just gonna hang out here until the fucking sun explodes again. Um, but that's an interesting ship. It doesn't look like it's one of ours, you know? It looks more... Um, not scuffed like ours. Mmm, what else was there? I want to say that I'm gonna end up l walking around in circles, but... Um, I feel like that's the natural thing to do when you have a moon that's this fucking tiny. Mmm... I wonder how long it is... That we have... Before the sun explodes. Not that that's particularly useful for me because I'll forget about it, but still be interesting to know. Uh, you got more time to so just stop exploring as soon as it turns reddish? No, yeah, of course. I mean, the fact that it's turning reddish incentivizes me more to keep exploring because my thought process is, okay, the sun's going to explode. I'm going to die and respawn at the s'mores, at the marshmallows, whatever. The, I forget what they're called. Marshmallows, right? Um... So suddenly I don't have to worry about my oxygen. Because whatever percentage is at, it's going to go to zero instantly. Because I'll be dead. Um, <laughs> I'm actually walking in circles though. I should maybe... Oh, wait. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. This is the furries architecture. We're onto something here. Oh, fuck, and I'm gonna have to like find my way back. What the hell? Wait. Untranslated, no my writing. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giants deep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator just rotates wildly and never points to just one director. This is a curious result. It's possible that the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet. Privet. My, app <laughs> my apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, 
but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava? Our search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. These are like fucking forum threads. I, I get it. The way the, the way that they like branch out into different branches with different people. These are literally forum threads on the wall. Awesome. Um, the trees do refill it. That's right. I guess we do have trees here too. Uh, <laughs> your cameras have got spirals. Oh fuck. We ending today? Wait, how much stuff is there in the queue? Scroll? What the hell? Oh! Oh! Wait! It's a thread reader! Let's go! How bad are we? Oh my god, that looks red. Holy shit, okay. Listen, it's very... De it, it, that's impossible to miss. The music has been really top-notch. Uh, where should I... Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Southern Glacier on Middle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always ha held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Begin construction on Middle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I heard that. Oh. Do we get to see it happen this time? Let's fucking go! Wait, is the music? An indicator that it's about to happen, and that's why you're pointing it out. I see. Interesting. Where did we leave off? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. We could stop here, true. <laughs> it's so bad. Thank you. I appreciate the tip. That's a good one. A good one to keep in mind. What? Wait. What is that? That happened before as well. Did something explode? Like right as we woke up? Interesting. Isn't Groundhog Day? So. I've never watched that movie, but I think so. I think so. Um, Raw Hog Day for fuck's sake. Uh, wait, let me check the the channel. Okay, now we do have a few to get through. Yeah, noticing a lot of things. Thank you. Doing my best. Also, it's the explosion really caught my eye there. Ah. Okay. Do we have? I wanna. I wanna. Oh, I do wanna check the um, log first. Oh, hey! It didn't tell me anything this time. I wonder why that is. I want to check the um, because I noticed the logs got updated. 
while I was reading stuff there. So I want to see that for... Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. That's uh, a few things. I just created the pinpoint the source of distant signal, but am I were disappointed by their failure to detect the signal for something called the Eye of the Universe? There's more to explore here. So there is. Eskers are going to crop the trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. A lookout platform with spectacular view of the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Their signal scope log reports harmonic music. That's what I want to check next. Somewhere in timbered earth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in this place long ago. Am I decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle's hollow south pole. Okay. So we still need to explore the, 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 the furry the furry outpost more. And the harmonica. And now we have an extra lead to go to Brittle Hollow South Pole where they were building a new thing there. It's really good that they have this. <laughs> Cause otherwise I would get lost. Very, very easily. Um Right, and Brittle Hollow is the one with the fucking private sun. Interesting. Okay. Um, right. Sorry. The stream end. Um, not really. Not directly. I keep baiting people every time I say this. The stream is not going to end immediately. We're actually going to do a recurring thing. It's in the command that TTV posted earlier. Stream is going to end soon. We have a channel of Discord to post videos for us to watch. It's basically a media share we do on the end of every stream. Um, but I do need to like close out and make a marker for myself to download the VOD that I upload to YouTube so I don't get in trouble for copyright. Um, reset loop. Reset loop and quit. Ha. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? What's the point of like save spots or like checkpoints or anything if you're just gonna like fucking die in 30 minutes anyway? I think 30 minutes, maybe? Might be 30 minutes, maybe an hour. God damn, that's cool though. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, and it gave us the end screen when we fell and died in the well because we hadn't fucking activated the statue yet. So we didn't actually respawn, we died for real. That's why we got the, um... You're still mortal. Gotcha, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Damn, that's cool. What the fuck? Furries are so powerful, they literally make you immortal. Holy shit. That's terrifying. Um, okay. Give me one second here. Change this. Uh, bring this back. The music. Um, was I playing? Okay, I was playing Rainbow Sky. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Sorry about this. I know it's gonna be a little bit awkward. I just I have to do it every time. I'm sorry. Um, why this all the way here? Why did I move this? I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Unfortunate miss emote usage. 
Um, hello, anyone watching this on YouTube? Thank you for checking out the VOD. Unfortunately, we are moving into a recurring segment of stream where we watch memes shared within the community. Uh, due to copyright reasons, I can't include these in the VOD, so feel free to come by the stream while it's live on Twitch, and also the Discord server where we have a channel where we share these memes uh, that we watch together. In the meantime, thank you for checking out the VOD, and... I'll see you next time. Bye.